This is Nebi OS, an Ubuntu-based distro that offers one of the most beautiful and unique desktop experiences. It comes with the VFAR, a valent compositor based on WL roots. VFAR focuses on creating a customizable, extensible, and lightweight environment without sacrificing its appearance. Now, let's take a closer look at Nebi OS and see why it's so fascinating. It is like Hyperland Wayfar is a valent compositor based on WL Roots library. This delivers a smooth and highly responsive desktop experience that you can truly feel. You can switch audio devices directly from quick settings, control media playback right from the on-screen display, and stay focused without constantly jumping between applications. Wayfar also features a dock at the bottom, so when you hover over it, the dock reveals your pinned applications, allowing you to launch them instantly from the desktop. Now take a look at this smooth animation, it looks really cool. The dock is divided into three sections, pinned applications, running apps, and trash. On the bottom right of the dock, you will find the quick settings toggle, which lets you control the brightness, volume, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and power options. The design looks very clean and visually appealing. On the bottom left corner, there's an app launcher icon that looks very similar to macOS Launchpad. Now, Nebi OS also comes with most of the essential applications pre-installed so you can get started right away without any extra setup. You can also pin applications to the dock simply by right-clicking on any icon. Now just like Plasma Desktop, Nebi OS supports adding widgets to the desktop. Now these are some of the widgets that comes preloaded and are already added by default. You can add more widgets to the home screen by simply right-clicking on the desktop and selecting Add Widgets. If you prefer a clean and minimal desktop experience, you can hide the widget with a single click. But that said, these widgets aren't great, to be honest. They have many issues and don't always work as intended, and removing them is also a bit painful. Also, Nebi OS offers a powerful multitasking capabilities. In the top left, you will find two buttons. The Client Swap button shows all the running applications across your workspaces. You can also press Alt plus Tab to trigger Client Swap button, which lets you view all open clients in one place or simply start typing to jump to any application instantly. Now, clicking the Expo icon opens the Workspaces overview. By default, it displays only four workspaces. You can easily configure the behavior of both multitasking and workspaces from the Control Center. Now speaking of the control center, it's Nebi OS main settings application and you can use it to tweak the system exactly to your liking. 
Now from here, you can customize the panels, quick settings, and the dock using the utility section. The driver settings make it very easy to install the correct GPU drivers for your graphics card for hardware accelerated performance. There's also the rising center, there you can customize app animations, system blur, icons, fonts and much more. Since Wayfar is a compositor, it also comes with a default keyboard shortcut for launching applications. For example, pressing Super plus Enter opens Terminal. The only issue that I noticed with the control center is that it doesn't scale properly and I cannot resize the window to fit my desktop. When it comes to performance, Nebi OS isn't strong as compared to other distros like Mint and Fedora. It has some optimization issues. Sometimes Wayfar can stop responding and log you out of the session, which can be quite annoying. Another issue is that whenever you make UI changes, such as pinning applications to the dock, the system UI refresh every time. And that said, the app launch animations are excellent, they are very smooth and you will notice on high FPS displays. Overall, Nebi OS with Wayfar delivers a niche desktop experience. If you are coming from GNOME or Plasma desktop, you will definitely notice some differences. The unique user interface looks very beautiful, but that visual polish comes at the cost of stability. So try it before installing on your computer and decide whether it's suitable as a daily driver. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.